This patient presented seeking treatment for episodes of spontaneous pain caused by his maxillary second premolar showing a deep distal caries. Following examination, the diagnosis of irreversible pulpitis is made. The cavity is open and the carious tissue removed. Large pulp exposures are revealed with avascular tissue, indicating partial necrosis. Partial pulpotomy is the next step. Preliminarily, the distal wall is restored with composite for optimal isolation. The pulp is isolated with a base during acid conditioning. Pulpotomy procedure is initiated with a long neck sterile diamond burr. The pulp chamber roof is removed and a first layer of pulp tissue shaved off. Hemostasis with sterile cotton pellets. The resulting wound is carefully examined. Gentle probing reveals that the pulp is detached from the pulp chamber wall and this seems to be a negative prognostic factor. This wound is not homogeneous and is not considered optimal. The surgical procedure is extended more epically. Irrigation with 1% sodium hypochlorite. The wound is still irregular and the pulp detached from the wall. Pulpotomy is continued. On the palatal side, probing reveals that the pulp tissue is still detached from the wall. A new layer of pulp is removed from the palatal side. The resulting wound, brought more apically on the palatal side, appears now regular. The pulp tissue is homogeneous. The resulting wound can now be covered with a pre-mixed tricalcium silicate based material. This has the advantage to be gently placed and adapted over the pulp wound with no pressure. The material is protected with a liner and the crown adequately restored. The clinical treatments shown in this video are based on the following publications.